Hi everyone, I'm Morgan Freeman, and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Remastered PS4 Edition. This is part 1.5, and uh, we're going to be playing Zoroastrian as in the Lizard, or the Argonian, to be proper. Because, you know, they're not black people, they're African Americans. <laughs> I'm not white, I'm Caucasian. Yeah. Same difference. I'm white as they come. Keep in mind, I am white as they come. Okay, so. Oh, we're, fo we're following the lady. Going to the All frick Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. Mm. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. I know what yes, it was. Uh, I'm just playing along. Give them their last rites. <laughs> played this part like As we commend 20 your times. souls to Ethereus. I just Blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the you love know. of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. This part. Our well, I, I get past this part. I just haven't played a whole lot in the game. I haven't got all more. I have the ability to get past this part. I'm not bad at games. I'm good at games. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Question mark. You yeah, I can picture his ancestors just Justice. watching him get beheaded, death and he's like, storm "Yeah, good, good as job." As fearless in death, good as job, he was great grandson. Next, the Getting lizard. Beheaded. Pretty nothing. Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. Man, to the block you, prisoner. you nice are just very unique, aren't you? Uniquely, insanely difficult. Nice belt. Can I have that when you're dead? What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? General Tolias and join the defense. Gods guide you, Hadbar. Hadbar! Stay close to the wall! Okay, which wall? 
the, the, the left wall or the right? Okay, left wall it is. Oh. Quickly, follow me! of the end times. Is that, is that what that is? We should is? keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. There you go. Take a look around. Thanks. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these book. bones. Gold, gold, gold. Book. Book, book. You better book. get some gear. Mixed unit tactics. Take. Wait, 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 wait. So one thing that I'm gonna do in this Let's Play of Skyrim that's gonna make it take forever is I'm gonna read every book I find. Because I doubt anyone's done that. Or maybe someone has done that. Maybe I'm not unique at all. Maybe I'm just part of the unending saturation of Let's Plays that have that have taken over YouTube. Or, maybe I'm awesome. I like that one. I'm gonna go with the latter. I'm awesome. I'm reading the book. <clears throat> Mixed unit tactics in the Five Years War. Volume one by Codis Calanus. The legions could learn from the unconventional tactics used by the Khajiit in the Five Years' War against Valnwood. I was stationed at the Sphinxmoth Legion Fort on the border near June and witnessed many of the northern skirmishes firsthand. The war started with the so-called slaughter of is that T or C? Torval? Corval? I'm gonna say Corval? Probably? No, it's Torval. It's definitely Torval. The Khajiit claim that the Bosmer invaded the city without problem, prov pro provocation. Pro provoca provocation? Provocation. Provocation. Right? Yeah? Okay. And killed over a thousand citizens before being driven off by reinforcements from a nearby jungle tribe. The Bosmer claim that the attack was in retaliation for Khajiit bandits who were attacking wood caravans headed for Valenwood. In the spring of 3E396, the war moved closer to Fort Sphinxmouth. I was posted on lookout and saw parts of the conflict. I later spoke with both Khajiit and Bosma, who fought in the battle and it will serve as an excellent example of how the Khajiit used a mixture of ground and tree units to win the war. The Khajiit began the fight in an unusual way by sending tree-cutting teams of a C-word and the fearsome S-word or battle cats into the outskirts of Valenwood's forests, when word reached the Bosma that the trees were being felled, allegedly a crime in the strange Bosmeri region, a unit of archers were dispatched from larger conflicts in the south. The Bosma were thus goaded into splitting their forces into smaller groups. The Bosma archers took up positions in the remaining trees 
whose branches were now 20 or more feet apart, allowing some light into the forest floor. The Bosma bent the remaining trees with their magics into small fortifications from which to fire their bows. When the tree cutters arrived the next morning, a half dozen Khajiit fell to the Bosma arrows in the first volley. After that, the Khajiit took large wooden shields from the backs of the Senchirapt. That's what I'm going to pronounce that as, because I have no idea. <clears throat> and made a crude shelter. The Khajiit, even the enormous Senche Rat, Senche Rat, were able to hide between this shelter and one of the large trees. When it became apparent that the Khajiit would not leave their shelter, some Bosma chose to descend and engage the Khajiit sword to claw. When the Bosma were nearly upon the shelter, one of the Khajiit began playing on a native instrument of plucked metal bars. This was a signal of some kind, and a small group of the man-like Ohms and Ohms Rat emerged from covered holes on the forest floor. Although outnumbered, they were attacking from behind by surprise and won the ground quickly. The Bosma archers in the trees would have still won the battle were they not having troubles of their own. A group of Dagi and Dagirat were two of the less Yep, 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 that, that's wrong. <clears throat> Common forms of Rajit, Khajit. <sighs> I can't do this. Khajit, who live in the trees of the Tenma forest, jumped from one tree to another under a magical cover of silence. They took up positions in the higher branches that could not hold a Bosma's weight. When the signal came, they used their claws and either torches or spells of fire accounts from the two survivors I spoke with very on this point no. to distract the archers while the battle on the ground took place a few of the archers were able to flee but most were killed apparently the doggy and the doggy rat have more magical ability than is widely believed if they were able to keep themselves magically silenced for so long. One of the surviving Bosma told me that he saw a few ordinary cats among the Dagi and even claimed that these ordinary cats are known as Alfik and that they were the spellcasters, but Bosma are almost as unreliable as the Khajiit when it comes to the truth. And I cannot believe that a house cat can cast spells. I can. I've seen it. I've seen it. It's true. It is absolutely true. Don't take my slight smile as a joke. It is absolutely true that cats, house cats, can in fact cast spells. <laughs> At the end of the day, the Khajiit lost perhaps a half dozen fighters out of a force of no more than four dozen, while the Bosma lost nearly an entire company of archers, the survivors were unable to report back before a second company of archers arrived in this tragedy, strategy, strategy arrived, was repeated again, I lost my line, I can't like finger it because it's over there. <clears throat> with similar results. <clears throat> Finally, a much larger force was sent and the Bosma won that battle with the help of the native animals of Valenwood. That third skirmish and the Khajiit response I will discuss in the second volume of this series. Cool. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. Okay. Search chest. Empty. Okay. Search chest. You better get some. Imperial light helmet. I don't even want a helmet. I don't. I'll take our gold. 
because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna dress myself based on what I think looks good, not Got you know what would actually be good to wear <clears throat> because of you know fashion and or armor. You know, like vice that armor versa or give that whatever. Sword a few swings too. <clears throat> give that Let's keep moving. Four that thing is still out there. <laughs> Anything else interesting? No. Okay. Items. Apparel. Uh, drop. Drop. Mm -boop. Mm -boop. Mm -boop. Wait a second. Is that? Does that? Is that? Okay. Yeah. Look at me. I am so blue-ish. Or purple-ish, I guess. I don't know. In certain Come way, on, this it, way. It, it, it looks blue, but I think it's actually supposed to be purple. What's in here? Nothing? Okay. Moving on. I think my foot's falling moving. asleep. That dragon is tearing up the whole keep. Just give me a minute. I'm out of breath. Hear that? Oh. Cloaks. <laughs> I should probably <laughs> equip my Maybe okay. we can reason with them. Yes. Maybe we can reason with them. Oh, should I put the sword away? Hold on now. What we only that? want to. Freedom. If you want to die. Yes, so oh, I guess. Dead. I guess. Reasoning with them is out of the question, huh? Yeah, take it. Ah, and a sword. And a slice. And a, what's so hard to understand about switch your stand? Sword, dude, not a fighter jet. Whoa. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that door open. I thought that was a mod. Anything else interesting in here? Nothing? No? Okay, what do you have? Iron War Axe. I'm wearing, which is none. Ta-da. Let's keep moving. Alright. Shut up, Hadvar. I'm trying to do stuff. Got a you know a in inventory, you know? Come on. Really? The hide shield is in apparel? Whatever. This way. This. Yeah, I'm. I'm coming. I'm sorry. I got turned around. Where are we going? Are we going this way? Okay. What's in here? Nope. Press square to ready your weapon. Okay. That didn't work. It put my weapon away. Moron game. Already had it out. Let's go. Come on, headbar. Way too many times. And I'm sure whoever's watching this has probably seen help. this way no. many times. But you know what? Imperials have potions in I don't here. care. We're going to need them. Where'd you come from? Huh? Where'd you come from? Oh no! Ah! Kill you! All your nice. Ah, 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 ah. Uh oh. 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 Hey. Ah! Ah! An old store room. Okay. See if you can find some potions. Might See if you can hand. find some potions. Uh, I think there's one right here, and I think there's um, one right there. And uh, what's that? I want I'm, I want what's whatever's in the cake. I'm thirsty. Bread. Anything in these barrels? No. Okay. Uh, fire. Uh, cut. Uh, fire. Let's go in the fire. No, that's the wrong. That's no, that's the wrong. There it is. No, can't go in the fire? Okay, whatever. Uh, oh, my foot is so asleep right now. I'm sitting uh, with my legs crossed on the floor in front of my bed because I just moved to a new house and I got rid of my old entertainment center, which was um, kind of falling apart. And, um, well, I don't have a new one yet. I don't know why I searched that. I don't know why I searched that either. What's in here? 
Carrot. I don't want a carrot. So, anyway. So my TV and PS4 is all set up rather low. And I am set up rather low. My uh, camera is a little bit of ingenuity that I'm very proud of, actually. All right, have our, let's go. I'm ready. Done, then. This way. So, my camera is set up. I'm using my phone as a camera. The torture is the God, I wish we didn't need camera. this. Hear that? Da, 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 Whoa. Oh, that's a wild person. <laughs> I win. Mm, 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 nope. Hey, kill him. Kill him in the face. You're outnumbered. You are very outnumbered. Nothing of interest. You fellows happened along just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I've been entertaining their comrades. Uh, Don't you... you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Helgen. Iron shield, much better Cut than right. a hide shield. Items, apparel, apparently. And drop. Iron shield. Please. Doop. Doop. Don't make up nonsense. Don't make up nonsense. That's that's Although, nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Knockpick and come with us. Brief get history out of, of the empire. You have no authority over. Yes. <laughs> A brief history of the empire, part one, by Stronach K. Thorge, the third, imperial historian. Oh, this is gonna be. Very one-sided. This is gonna be very pro-empire, I can tell. <laughs> Liberals. <clears throat> Before the rule of Tibus Ty Septum, all Tamrio was in chaos. The poet Tracesis 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 Whatever. Called the period of continuous unrest, days and nights of blood and venom. I can't wait for that movie. The kings were a petty lot of grasping tyrants who fought Tiber's attempts to bring order to the land. This is very left wing. <laughs> but they were as disorganized as they were dissolute. And the strong hand of Septim brought peace forcibly to Tamrio. The year was 2E896. The following year, the Emperor declared the beginning of a new era, thus began the Third Era. Oh, 2E, that's Second Era. I got that now. <laughs> I'm a stranger to Skyrimies, or Elder Scrollsies. <clears throat> For 38 years, the Emperor Tiber reigned supreme. It was a lawful, pious, and glorious age when justice was known to one and all. From serf to sovereign, the Ty on Tiber's death, comma, it reigned for an entire fortnight as if the land of Tamriel itself was weeping. How poetic. The Emperor's grandson, Pelagius, came to the throne through his... Though his reign was short, he was as strong and resolute as his father had been, and Tamriel could have enjoyed a continuation of the Golden Age. Alas! An unknown enemy of the Septim family hired that accursed organization of cutthroats, the Dark Brotherhood, to kill the Emperor Pelagius, Pelagi but Penguinus, I, 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 as he knelt. Oh, the first. That's not an I. I mean, it is an I, but it's not an I. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? No? Okay. Let me start over. To kill the Emperor Pelias I as he knelt at prayer at the temple of the one in the Imperial City. Pel 
Elias First's reign lasted less than three years. Pelagius. Pelag Why am I... The G is silent. The G is absolutely silent, and I don't care who you are. You can argue till you're blue in the face. I believe... I do believe that that G is silent. There's a silent G right there. Pelias had no living children, so the crown imperial passed to his first cousin, the daughter of Tiber's brother, Agnorith. Kintira, former queen of Sylvanor, assumed the throne as Kintira I. Her reign was blessed with prosperity and good harvests, and she herself was an avid patroness of art, music, and dance. Kintira's son was crowned after her death, the first emperor of Tamriel to use the imperial name Uriel. Uriel I was the great lawmaker of the Septim dynasty, and a prompter pr promoter Promoter, there's no P in there. I mean, there is a P, but not after M. Of independent organizations and guilds. Under his kind but firm hand, the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild increased in prominence throughout Tamriel. His son and successor, Uriel II, reigned for 18 years from the death of Uriel I in Third Era 64 to... Pelias, Pe Pe Pela Pelagius II's accession in Third Era 82. Tragically, the rule of Uriel II was cursed with blights, plagues, and insurrections. The tenderness he inherited from his father did not serve Tamriel well, and little justice was done. I thought this was supposed to be a brief history. This is too long! <laughs> Pelagius II inherited not only the throne of his father, but the debt from the latter's poor financial and judicial management. Pelagius dismissed all of the Elder Council and allowed only those willing to pay great sums to resume their seats. He encouraged similar acts among his vassals. Vassals, 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 whatever. The kings of Tamriel. And by the end of his 17 year reign, Tamriel had returned to prosperity. His critics, however, have suggested that any advisor possessed of wisdom, but not of gold, had been summarily. Summarily. Sum, summarily. Summarily? Ousted by Pelagius. This may lead, may have led. God, I can't read right now. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is it? Is it dark in here? I think it has gotten darker since I started. <laughs> Good thing I'm right next to a window. But damn, when the sun's officially down, it's gonna be really dark in here. Good thing the first part's gonna be over after I read this book because this is taking fucking forever! This may have led to some of the troubles his son Antiochus faced when he in turn became emperor. Antiochus was certainly one of the more flamboyant members of the usually austere Septim family. He had numerous mistresses and nearly as many wives and was renowned for the grandeur of his dress and his high good humor. Unfortunately, his reign was rife with civil war, surpassing even that of his grandfather Uriel II. The War of the Isle in Third Era 110, twelve years after Antiochus assumed the throne, nearly took the province of Somerset, that's original, Somerset Isle away from Tamriel. The united alliance of the kings of Somerset and Antiochus only managed to defeat K 
King Orgum. That sounds like a Viking name. Orgum. By the island kingdom of Piandonia. 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 Due to a freak storm. Legend credits the Sejic Order of the Isle of Arkham with the sorcery behind the Tempest. I'm not familiar with any of this crap. All these words and places and names are very hard. <laughs> it's too hard. But I'm still going to do it because I don't care. <clears throat> or I do care. It's because I do care. I care about you the people who want to watch me read instead of actually play the game. I care about you. <laughs> I like you. The story of Kintira II second Hyeris Eris Eris <laughs> They can't start with an H. Eris to her father Antiochus' throne is certainly one of the saddest tales in imperial history. Her first cousin, Uriel, had a dead foot because his legs were crossed while playing Skyrim. Son of Queen Potema of Solitude accused Kintira of being a bastard. A bastard! Alluding to the infamous decadence of the Imperial City during her father's reign. When this accusation failed to stop her coronation, Uriel brought the support of several disgruntled kings of High Rock, Skyrim, and Morrowind, and with Queen Potema's assistance, he coordinated three attacks on the Septim Empire. The first attack occurred in the Lyak Bay region, which separates High Rock and Hammerfell. Kintira's entourage was massacred and the Empress taken captive. For two years, Kintira II languished in an imperial prison believed to be somewhere in Glenpoint or Glenmoril. Apparently, Glen sent her there. Before she was slain in her cell under mysterious circumstances, the second attack was on a series of imperial garrisons, along with Along the coastal Morrowind Islands, the Empress Consort Contin Arinx fell defending the forts. The third and final attack was a siege of the Imperial City itself. The Elder Council had split up the army to attack western High Rock and eastern Morrowind. The weakened government had little defense against Uriel's determined aggression and capitulated. Capitulated after only a fortnight, fortnight of resistance. Uriel took the throne that same evening and proclaimed himself Uriel the Third, Emperor of Tamriel. The year was three third era, 121. Thus began. The War of the Red Diamond, described in Volume 2 of this series. Taking that book. I like that book. Didn't you Take hear me? Pick. I said the keep is under attack. Yeah. Forget yeah. the old man. I'll I, I come with it. you. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Oh, another book! Oh my god. Come back next time to. Wow, it's dark! Come back next time to. To, to watch me read volume two of A Brief History of the Empire. Grab what you can, let's go. <laughs>